This government's plan to centralize cytology lab services in Edmonton and Calgary will cost more money and it will jeopardize patient safety. That's what two-thirds of the province's top pathologists have told this government in letters that we're tabling in this House today, and that's why this government cannot be trusted with public health care. Centralizing labs will delay test results and raise the risk of patients being misdiagnosed and mistreated. Will the Minister of Health immediately reverse this move towards centralization and privatization of lab services in this province? And if not, why not? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I've received a few letters on this uh, subject and I thank the member for bringing it to our attention. Uh, the fact is, is that uh, I've already agreed to a meeting with the uh, pathologists and staff from the uh, Red Deer uh, Hospital and I'll be meeting with them next week. The Honourable Member. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, we already heard the Minister say that uh, privatizing and contracting out is cheaper than doing it in the public system. He's already made up his mind on that, on that point. But the doctors who wrote these letters don't miss words. They see hospitals losing ex experts they need to diagnose diseases, and there's no financial benefit, but it puts patients at, at their unnecessary risk. So I want to ask the Minister why he won't admit that this move to privatize this area of health care system will jeopardize patient care and reverse his plan to centralize and privatize lab services in Alberta. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, just for the record, I was speaking about cataract surgeries specifically. We know that on average they don't cost any more than in this setting than in that setting. And I said I'm looking at other costs to do with hip replacements, knee replacements, shoulders and so on, because I want to convince myself more so that that is exactly the fact, that it is cheaper or at least not more expensive depending on, on where it gets done. Specific to the cytology example, I'm, I'm sensitive to what you're saying, Honourable Member. I'm going to have a meeting next week, find out more about it, and I'll be happy to chat with you after that. The Honourable Member. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. But a government that would close labs in hospitals is not a government that we can trust to protect health care. For example, a patient who needs urgent treatment for colon cancer could be left waiting much longer for test results that should have been looked at, uh, that should have been looked at in conjunction with one another, not two different labs in two different cities. Why won't the Minister admit that this plan will cause harm to patients and reverse the decision to centralize the The Honourable labs? Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm not familiar with the intimate details of that plan. It's just come to my attention. I've already indicated the proactive step I've taken to meet and learn the information as part of my hands-on issues approach. Um, and I can assure the Honourable Member that I will look at that very thoroughly and very carefully. I just want at the same time to uh, ensure Albertans that they will not be compromised for quality or safety regardless of what the decision is. The